What up, y'all? Welcome back to World Class Lifestyle. Today, we are reacting to Lil Durk featuring J. Cole, All My Life, the official audio. Let's get straight to it. All right, y'all, let's go. All right. Hey, and look, listen, I know I'm late like shit, but it's all right. Shit, you know, things happen, you know, so let's go. Dougie, you told me he been on some positive shit, yeah, yeah. Lately, I just wanna show up and body some shit, yeah, yeah. Oh. Damn, J. Cole talking about body and shit? Oh, shit. Oh. Always been a little mad petition. Lately, this cash up getting. Got me losing count of these bags. I've been moving too fast. Hard to Wait, okay, okay. I was about to say, what the fuck? I, I like what he said there, though, because he said, um, he said, I used to be a mathematician. And then he said, but he been losing count because he's saying all of the money he been getting and shit like that, it's been making him lose count. And how the fuck you a fucking mathematician, but you lose account of the money that you're making and stuff like that, you know? So that's what that's why that's what he pretty much trying to say that it's so much money that he getting he losing fucking count, real nigga shit. Times don't last. Remember when cops are rads talking out my ass, boy? You ain't shit but a bitch with a badge. All my life, they be trying to keep me down. That's clean. That's clean how he got the uh, the kids singing and shit. All this time, never thought I'd make it out. No, no, no. All my life, they be trying to keep me down. I decided I had to finish, but the media called me a menace. I just sat with the mayor and politicians. I'm trying to change that. He said the media caught him a menace. Hey man, it's the it's the shit that you've been, you know, whenever you rap about certain things and shit like that, and that's how you portray your lifestyle out to be. That's what happens and shit, you know. That's why they call you a menace, guys. Be a menace. I just said with the mayor and politicians. I'm trying to change the image. You can't blame my past no more. I come from the trenches. Some said I'd never be a superstar, but I know I'm different. I'm the voice, but the system ain't give me a choice. Know some people that's still undeployed. I know a felon who trying to get forward. Child support, your only support. What did he say? He said child support. Did I just pause that with the motherfucking headphones I got on? What the fuck? I think I did. Shit is crazy. All right. But he, he said child support don't need no support. Know some people that still undeployed. I know a felon who trying to get forward. Child support, your only support. For a visit, I'm going through courts. Went to jail, they was chaining me up. And you know that I'm famous as fuck. See how you gonna joke about stimulus. But they really had came in the clutch. I know. Hey. I ain't get no motherfucking stimmy, but I, 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 would, I seen how them checks was hidden, and I would have loved to got one. Shit. This nigga said, how you complaining about one, and you know that that shit was helping. That's true shit. But maybe niggas wasn't complaining about getting it. They was just complaining they wanted more and shit, you know? But shit, because you know niggas just be fucking, uh, what is that shit called? They be uh, ungrateful for the blessings that they got and shit like shit. Just be happy with the, the amount of G's or whatever the fuck you got, you know? Shit. Niggas just ain't shit. Only support for a visit. I'm going through courts. Went to jail, they was chaining me up. And you know that I'm famous as fuck. See how you gonna joke about stimulus? But they really had came in the clutch. I know some kids wanna hurt themselves. Stop trying to take drugs. I refer to myself. Trying to better myself. Trying to better my health. But all my life, they be trying to keep me down. Time. Never thought I'd make it out. No, no, no. <laughs> the, the no. Got it. All my life, they be trying yeah. to keep me down. First generation ghetto nigga, cold world, hello niggas. Made it out of the city with my head on straight. Niggas keep shooting up the let out. Yo, enjoy the pill, gotta get out. Cause the shit that I spit out is a cheat. <laughs> He said, yeah, they all Jordan Peele got to get out because Jordan Peele made the movie Get Out. Okay, okay. He's saying get out. Got to get up out of there. He's shooting up the let out. Yo, Jordan Peele got to get out. Because the shit that I spit out is a cheat code like I'm facing a Rico. I had a nigga put a hit out. Hold on, hold on. Because the shit that I spit out is a cheat code like I'm facing a Rico. I had a nigga put a hit out. Okay, he said the shit that I spit out is like a cheat code when they facing a Rico when they nigga put a hit out. 
Shit. And another one that I spit out is a cheat code like I'm facing a Rico. A hot nigga put a hit out. And another one, and, and another one. I got like a hundred of them. By the oh, he's just he talking about his hits and shit like that. And he also talking about a hit out and then a Rico, the case, the Rico cases and shit like that. And he said like like a nigga put a hit out. And he talking about like a hit on a person and shit like that. And he said like the hits that he and he also talking about a hit on a person and also talking about like uh the hits that he make music that's why he's saying another one and another one he said i think he said he got like a hundred of them he got like more than a hundred shit oh and how a nigga put a hit out and another one and, and another one i got like a hundred of them by the lap nigga so they think they're ahead of me but i'm really in front of them now some of them fumbling they bad fucking up the little crumbs that they had a reminder to humble yourself this shit could be gone in an instant me i'm running long distance all pistons hey true shit true shit he did say, uh, you gotta humble yourself because the shit can be gone. And then he said, the little crumbs that you had and shit like that, you trying to talk heavy shit about that. Come on, my nigga, humble yourself, cause shit. And it, it could be gone in the quickest amount of time. And I like that line he said about like, he's running, he laughing these niggas. He said that they, they thinking that he behind, but no, really, I'm in front of you. Two, three times in front of you, cause I done passed you up two, three times. Laughing your shit. And a reminder to humble yourself, this shit could be gone in an instant. Me, I'm running long distance, all pistons, firing. I've been stuck between maybe retiring and feeling like I'm just not hitting my prime. These days, seeing rappers be dying way before. That shit, that shit tough. This nigga said something about, I've been thinking about retiring, and then sometimes I just be like, damn, I ain't even hit my prime. That's a, that's a good feeling to have. Like, damn, should I sit back and retire? No, nah, nigga, I ain't even hit my problem. I'm gonna stay in this shit. I've been stuck between. Look, rappers can't retire. Fuck that. Artists can't retire. I don't wanna hear it. Maybe retiring and feeling like I'm just not hitting my prime. These days, seeing rappers be dying way before they even getting they shine. I never even heard a little buddy to somebody murder a little buddy. Now I'm on the phone. That shit tough. Bro, this shit is pausing every single time. Hold on. Searching a little buddy. It, it, I did not I promise you I didn't touch the thing. I just touched the headphone. I'm finna touch the headphone hands right here and shit like that. But that is some shit right there. He said, um, he said like he was the rappers be dying and shit like that. He said I never even heard a little buddy until he get killed. And that's the time that you hear about him and shit like that. You like damn. And then you could possibly be listening to his music and be like, damn, that was some. He was he was talking some good. That that was some good music. And sometimes it could be like, damn, he was talking some real shit, you know? And it's like, damn, I didn't even get the chance to work on him. I got to work with him on some shit that he pre-recorded before he passed away. That shit tough. Look, look. Fuck. 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 And they shine. I never even heard a little buddy. To somebody murder a little buddy. Now I'm on the phone searching a little buddy name. Got to play in his tunes all day in my room. Thinking, damn, this shit wicked to get their names buzzing. Some niggas just got to go lay in a tune. And me he said this shit wicked uh to just to, for some kids to get their name buzzing they gotta go lay in the tomb think it damn this shit wicked to get their names buzzing some niggas just gotta go lay in a tomb and media thirsty for clicks i got a new rule if you ain't never posted a rapper when he was alive you can't post about him after he get hit true shit true shit that's a fact because niggas you niggas be doing shit like that and it's just like oh shit it's just like a little uh uh, uh i don't think i've ever done anything like that like i've posted rappers and shit like that when when they passed away and shit, but all of them niggas, niggas know. I, I fucked with them heavy and shit like that, and the niggas know that I show love to them um, whenever I could and shit, you know? So, it's just a lot of people be doing that shit where they, they don't even listen to a nigga. And, they, and sometimes it could be respect. It could be out of a respect thing. Be like, hey, I ain't never knew who he was and shit like that, but his story, like... Like just the way that he he left and shit like that. That shit tough, you know. And it, it ain't no clout chasing thing. It ain't no thing like damn rest in peace, my nigga. And you ain't never listened to him or you used to hate on the nigga all the goddamn time, you know. Nothing like that. It could also just be a respect thing where it's just like, hey, he he left this earth way too soon. Soon, you know. It's just a respect thing. Cause shit, you can you cannot prefer a person's music and shit like that, and then still show love and respect to him, you know, if they pass on. Cause that shit's sad, you know. Like, just the condolences. Cause a motherfucker family can murder somebody else's family and shit like that. But like, hey, nah, that shit disrespectful as fuck. Never mind, I can't even go there. I was gonna say a motherfucker family can murder another person's family and say, hey, condolences to you and yours. Hell nah, bitch. Well, I don't wanna hear that shit. That shit. Hell nah. I was talking some bullshit right there. Leave that alone. <laughs> shit. I got a new rule. If you ain't never posted a rapper when he was alive, you can't post about him after he get hit. It's simple. It's the principle on any tempo. I'm in. It be funny as hell when niggas don't be knowing the lyrics. They know some lyrics and shit like that. But look at Lil Durk when uh, J. Cole rapping this shit. He said simple. And he just do this. Because <laughs> he don't know shit. He, he, well, he don't know the lyrics. I'm pretty sure they sent the song in. And he was like, all right, let's go shoot the music video right away. That's probably why he don't know the lyrics like that. But he just said, he ain't, he ain't even rapping this shit. 
But it seemed like all of the kids ain't rapping the shit either. So maybe J. Cole said, hey, let me take this. Let me take this. Live, you can't post about them after they get hit. It's simple. It's the principle on any tempo. I'm invincible. Don't even rap. I just to you. I'd rather that than an interview most days. Fuck mm, He said, I'd rather that than an interview. Because I just listen to my music. That's the interview. All like I'm going through a whole phase, you don't even rap, I just vent to you. I'd rather that than an interview most days. Fuck them all like I'm going through a whole phase. Young niggas shoot out the whip like road rage. I pray all of my. Huh, young niggas shoot out the whip like road rage, like road rage and shit like that. And he's saying, you shooting out the whip because that's what, like road rage. You most days. Fuck them all like I'm going through a whole phase. Young niggas shoot out. And he said, fuck them all like I'm going through a whole phase. Because, you know, hoes fucking them all. And he's saying, hey, fuck them all. Legit, fuck them all. The whip like road rage. I pray all of my dogs stay so paid, and the only thing to kill him is old age. All my life, they be trying to keep me down. All this time, never thought I'd make it out. No, 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 no. He got, a, he, got, he got a good form. Okay, I see you, dirty. No. All my life. They be trying to keep me down. Bro, J. Cole will talk. Bro, what's the, what's, what, what? So J. Cole is 6'2"? Bro, what what is this? What is this? In feet? Just tell me his height. Goodness. Sheesh. Five seven. Nolan Riddle. Tashi Butia. Peter. GD, I don't know, no, 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 no. Hey, man, if y'all enjoyed this video, please make sure I hit the like button, comment down below. Anything that y'all want, I will highly appreciate it, no cap. Hey, I rocked out with that song. They both did their thing. Lil Durk did his part. Uh, 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 J. Cole did his part. And the kids that were singing on the course and shit like that, they did their thing too, no cap. I rocked out with a heavy, no bullshit. Um, I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Shout out on my videos. And I'll be sending you. Please make sure I hit that subscribe button. Plus the bell so you can get notified every single time I drop a video. Uh, stay tuned because I got a lot of reactions dropping for y'all. I love y'all. appreciate y'all. Thanks for watching.